Thank you, distinguished outgoing chairperson of the Board of Governors, um, fellow Board of Governors, Board of Directors, the President of the Bank, Management, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor and humility that I accept on behalf of the Republic of Ghana to chair the Board of Governors of Africa Development Bank Group and host the annual meeting for 2021. Honorable Kaba has this quintessential bank in the wake of COVID-19 and the truly devastating impact that COVID has had on our economies. Let me thank her for her incredible strength, fortitude, and wisdom in guiding us in what could have been a destructive frigate and crippled the bank. The results today is a clear manifestation of what a great woman um, she is. I still am awed by the results that we have just seen. Unanimity in this room, 100%, 100% voting, a true breakthrough moment. Congratulations, Mr. President Adesina. And may we continue to make history, especially in these five years, your next term. And may the hand of God continue be beneath you in all that you do. Congratulations. Chairman, Africa is facing, but then there are sovereign things that we need to come back to from the high on this mountain. It is a difficult and solemn and sovereign period. We are facing a health and economic crisis. As a result, we are in the middle of the first recession in sub-Saharan Africa in the last 25 years and a depression if we don't work quickly, which may last well over five years. Many of our economies are contracting and there are severe liquidity problems. So what do we have to do? Let me also take the opportunity to congratulate our non-regionals uh, for this show of support about the future of where Africa is going and the collective trust therefore and through this vote that you have illustrated. We will then also urge our president um, to seek the Asian path of wisdom and ensure that we remain united so we can fight this COVID experience. We stand in Africa to risk between 26 to 39 million Africans being pushed into extreme poverty and the loss of hundreds of millions of jobs. We urgently need across African economies, liquidity, debt sustainability solutions, and capital for recovery in order to truly emerge from this pandemic. We need tailored solutions to our problems. As Africa's premier bank, the AFDB is best suited to lead this role in such a time as this. As we all know, um, the African finance ministers have made certain propositions with the AU envoys and with UNECA and where are somewhere. I propose a number of solutions for Africa's debt situation. A, to extend the debt standstill from the G20s for two more years, to look at the reallocation of unused and or possibly new SDRs to support what we deem to be the need for $100 billion a year of financing each year for the next three years, and also to create a liquidity facility or special purpose vehicle um, to find a way to credit enhance so we can have greater access and cheaper financing for the work ahead. We also need to work with both the United States and China to back these efforts and so that we can truly cut this recovery short. All of us governors of AFDP must put our weight behind this effort to avert potential debt default in the coming year. That is a reality. But then there's good news. Um, the president has led a very successful seventh general capital increase, moving our capital from 93 billion to 208 billion. So we are in position to really make an impact in the coming years. Secondly, we have all agreed on the AFCFTA, which will be launched on January 1st, 2021, 
headquartered in Afra, Accra. Um, to have a 1.3 billion people, a combined GDP of 2.5 trillion to create the largest trade market uh, in the world. Um, fellow colleagues and governors, a 1% increase in Africa's trade will result in $70 billion uh, coming to us. So we must work hard to make sure that the days ahead uh, are fulfilled for our people. So for the past three days, our discussions and deliberations have focused on the statutory issues of governance of the bank and the election of the president. These conversations have been underpinned by the urgent need to reposition the bank for building resilience for post-COVID-19 Africa. We have done this with the knowledge and the challenging times ahead, much cannot be achieved without decisive and passionate leadership driven by the courage of your convictions and President of Dicina, you seem to have this. But more important, Mr. President, is the unity that we have all shown to back you. And we pray that your leadership will continue to bring hope to the progress of Africa. Let me use this opportunity to also thank both Equatorial Guinea and Cote d'Ivoire for hosting and setting the agenda for these past two years. Thank you, Cote d'Ivoire, for handing over the baton in such a spectacular way. Ghana looks forward um, to hosting annual meetings with much anticipation as our government, our vision to move Ghana and Africa beyond aid, beyond aid is unwavering and has been validated by this pandemic. We are fully aware of the unprecedented times we live in. As a result, we have refocused our attention not only to protect lives and livelihoods, but fund organizational capital of our companies to revitalize enterprises for growth and jobs a part of rebuilding towards a beyond aid. There has never been a more opportune time to challenge the global financial infrastructure as we have it with its inherent biases towards Africa. We must work together to create a tectonic change in this framework. I urge the AFDB to leverage this pandemic as an opportunity to innovate and to enhance its governance to truly serve the African people. I leave us with Mandela's words, it, is always, it always seems impossible until it is done. Let us not waste this crisis and let us not waste this historic success in this election. Congratulations, Governor, for this unprecedented vote. Congratulations to Mr. President. May God bless our efforts as we struggle to make a prosperous Africa a living reality, inspire and strengthen our people that we will share, strive to give our time, thought, and sacrifice to speed the day of the coming beauty of Africa. I thank you all, and I truly look forward um, for a year in which we will just have the spirit of courage, of love, and self-discipline to create the new Africa that we all desire. We look forward to hosting you in Ghana next year. Thank you, and may God bless us in our continent.